hey it's you for me i'm just coming in here i literally just like abruptly started this vlog i have a bunch of random footage of me talking to the camera no surprise but um this is just like when i first heard like the first week i was back from break and it has to do with my nose biopsy so if you want to know what happened to my nose it got cut off keep watching and then i just have like some other fun things so keep watching please like and subscribe mm. <laughs> Okay, so today has been hectic. It's already 2 o'clock. So this morning I got woke up and my mom was like, we're leaving at 10, you have 20 minutes to get ready. And I was still in bed. And she was kind of annoyed that I was still in bed. But I was ready to go when we left. So then we went and ran some errands, like going to the bank and stuff. And then we went home and I ate lunch real quick. And then my dad and I went out to go Christmas shopping. And then I ended up at this coffee shop so I can use my, my laptop because I had to order some Christmas presents online and things because they didn't have everything I was looking for in the store. So I ordered things. And it's been very hectic because we went to a store, we asked for things. I called the different store to see if they had things. And a lot of the things we wanted were just online. And literally I ordered so many Christmas presents online. I it's, I'm gonna sound like an old person, but like it's crazy how many things you can just like order online nowadays. Like you don't even need to go into the store to order things most of the time. You can just order things online, which is crazy for like Christmas presents. I mean, I guess for like clothes and stuff, especially for me, I have to go and try stuff on. That's why I went to the mall with my mom the other day to like try things on. But yeah. I'm sorry, I was trying to balance. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Okay, so now I'm at a coffee shop and I got an eggnog latte. I got ice because. I know it's cold outside, but every time I'm in a coffee shop and like doing work and stuff, if I have a sweater on and drink like a hot coffee, I get hot. It's not very busy in here since um, it's break and all the college kids went home. So I have my purse because we went shopping and then I have my camera and my backpack. And I brought a Harry, book, Harry Potter book too. And my dad was like, why did you bring a Harry Potter book if you're working on scholarship essays and stuff? And I was like, because I want to like chill day out while I'm sitting and reading my book and everything. I feel self-conscious talking to my camera alone, except for I literally talk to my phone alone all the time. Anyway, I have Snapchat. And plus, it's like, oh, people can't. Oh, oh my gosh, I see somebody that I know from high school. I don't know if they know who I am, so I'm going to hide. This is like a really popular coffee shop in my town, so like I always wanted to be here versus the one that's closer to my house. It's um nobody really lives on my side of town. Even like everybody from there comes over here. This is the hot spot. Anyway, I'm gonna get back to writing my scholarship essays. So I'm really bad at writing and I need to write a good essay. Because the scholarship portal, um now I have declared major, I need to write an essay for the college of business so I can get some more financial aid and things because your girl's running out of money, so I'm gonna have to take out loans and Dusty's alive. We charged the battery overnight, but he's making weird noises, so I'm concerned. But, you know. Oh, we have a great call tonight. And, uh, oh, no, it stopped. <gasps> oh, no. Last night, I, like, used the battery charger and charged it, and this morning it turned on. So I just, like, assumed it was the battery. So I took it to the mechanic so they can check out the battery and the alternator to make sure that it's fine. And this van never dies, so I'm excited that it's up and running. So I can drive it for a month and not have to like rely on my parents to drive me everywhere because we have a rental car so I can't drive that. So it has a lot of mold everywhere so I guess later I will be <laughs> cleaning out the car. And I just got back from the dentist and got my teeth all cleaned. I am headed back to the dentist now to go get my teeth scanned to see about Invisalign. Which I think I'm a good candidate for it. It just depends on the cost and everything. They used to do like the mold things, but they have a camera thing now. They scan my mouth.
Okay, I just got the van back and I'm running late. I'm going to my dermatologist appointment because according, oh, it's only 319 and it's, oh, 320, okay. According to, um, not because of this, these are just like acne, but like according to Google right here, I have cancer. So <laughs> stay tuned for the update on actually what's wrong with me. Um, yeah, so I googled my symptoms and said I had cancer. <laughs> uh, but anyway, so I went in there and she, you just, I'm going to put the video clip in there, but basically she just numbed my nose and then cut a little piece off to send to the lab to make sure that I don't have cancer because apparently it could be cancer, but probably not. And then she cauterized it, which just means, okay, I'm trying to think of things. So like if it's like a bunch of capillaries, like at the end, so like blood vessel things, and if you cauterize it, it's just so that it won't keep bleeding on me, basically. Anyway, I do wear this 20, 24 hours, and it is like th 4 o'clock right now. I'm supposed to go to high school tomorrow, too. Yeah, no, I think I'm going to take this off a little before that, <laughs> because I'm not wearing a band-aid to high school. My nose is numb, though, because they numbed it. So, now I'm going to go clean the van of mold. So, good thing I have, like, a band-aid on here. We don't want it to get infected with mold. That'd be nasty. Okay, bye. And they, the real reason I went in is because, like, my nose, like, right there um kept like bleeding not like you know like okay so like my like zits right here are red and stuff but like if sometimes like if you like pop a zit or something and it like bleeds it wasn't like that it was like gushing blood like i got out of the shower just wiped my face off and started like oozing blood which sorry if that grosses you out <laughs> so <clears throat> they cut it off and then i went and took the van so oh back up before we went before i went to the dermatologist I went to the mechanic to pick up the van, and so then I took it to the dermatologist, and then after that, I drove it and um, vacuumed it out, because it's all moldy on the inside, because it was sitting in the garage for a while, so I guess there was, like, moisture in it, and then mold grew, which is gross, and you're probably like, why are you driving that? That's gross. It's, first of all, it's a minivan. Yeah, I know, but I've had this minivan. Like, my dad used to pick me up from elementary school in this minivan. My freshman year in college, over the summer, I came home for the summer, because my apartment's least didn't start until August so I was just here for the summer but nobody else was here so I had the house to myself and I had the van so I had the van I drove them all summer which he has no AC I'm calling him a he I call the van dusty because <clears throat> he's I live on gravel so he's always dusty so anyway, so I had dusty over summer with no AC and anything dusty and I've gone through a lot of times together I would go to high school together we would go to high school together I would come back from the horrible place I'd take him to work uh he's had a million flat tires and problems and i've blown that tire up like a million times but he's gone through thick and thin he's still alive i don't know how he's still alive i swore i was like okay the van's not gonna start like it's not it's just gonna have to go bye bye excuse me i was like we're just gonna have to get rid of it so we charged the battery overnight then it started and i was like yes but yeah it has heat it might not have ac but it has heat so everything's fine and I'm going to a movie in a little bit with my friend that's at 640 so I'll probably put some makeup on because like we ain't cute right now but I didn't put any on all day because it's going to the dermatologist and I don't care and this is my hair from earlier it's like no this is why I don't curl my hair it's just like a crusty and like messy so I might put it in a ponytail I so wish I could do like an Ariana Grande ponytail mm. Going to a movie and I have a band-aid on my nose and I'm self-conscious even though I don't know anybody who lives here anymore. So. This is my friend Ava. Ava comes in here and tries to order cheese balls, then she tries to order mozzarella sticks, and then she tries to order grilled chicken. Honey, this is McDonald's. Can you explain yourself, Ava? Um I'm not really a fan of McDonald's, but I know Chick-fil-A, so. I feel personally attacked at my 10-piece with extra large fry meal that you don't understand McDonald's. Girl, I'm four. I eat her all the time. I got four nuggets. And then she's like, why are they so small? And I was like, yeah, what? Chick-fil-A, they're bigger and have more meat. This is all just like, okay. You gotta got the tenders. They have like tenders. See, you should have told me. I did. Well, You're a bad mom. Oh my God. <laughs> When's the last time you actually had McDonald's? 
through Florencia with my little brother, but I didn't actually order anything. I just ate some of what he ordered. I don't understand. How do you? How like, do you I not? Had a few sips of okay, but like when you like grew up and went on road trips and stuff, did you not go to? I mean, my family would eat there, but I wouldn't order anything. I'd like. I know. So Ava's good because she eats healthy. That's why she doesn't know. I'm like now feel ashamed that I know like the whole no, menu and everything. You don't need to worry about it. Look at me eating a large fry. <laughs> One time I went to McDonald's three times in a week at college and I didn't ask to go any of the times. My one friend asked me to go and I said yeah. Somebody else asked me to go. I said yeah. I mean, I'll go because you want me to. It's fine. And then somebody else asked me to go. Yeah. I feel so bad. She only wanted like mozzarella sticks or something, and I it's fine. brought her here. But it's fine. It's fine. I like strawberry milkshakes. Oh yeah, you're doing